Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you this one trick that will help you find the equation of any straight line. So, any question you have where you have to find the equation of a straight line, you always need two things. You need to know the gradient and you need to know one of the points on the line. So, here's a question that you might get. It says, find the equation of the line with gradient negative 2 and passing through 1, 6. So here's our two things we need to know, and I'm going to fill it in. The gradient is negative 2. So I'm going to write down negative 2. And then we want to write down the coordinates of one of the points. So it tells you that this point that it goes through is 1, 6, so I'm going to use 1, 6, like this. Now we're going to find the equation. First thing you do is you write down that a straight line equation is y equals mx plus c. And now looking at our information, we're going to work out which letters in this equation here, am I going to substitute in with the numbers 1, 6 and negative 2? So the gradient we know is the letter M. So the M is the number negative 2. For the coordinate points, we know that the first number in the coordinate is the letter X, and the second number is the letter Y. So here, x is 1, y is 6, and m is negative 2. So let's put the numbers in. y we said is 6, m we said is negative 2, x is 1, so I write multiply 1. And then now what I have to do is find what is the value of c. Okay, let's work this out. Negative 2 times 1, well, that's negative 2. So negative 2 plus how much is going to be 6. That's going to be um, 8. So the letter C must be 8. So my answer is the equation Y equals. When you write a general equation, um, you always have the letters y and x, because it can represent any coordinate. So y equals, uh, the gradient was minus 2, so negative 2, I write x, and then I write plus 8. So the plus 8 comes from the letter c. The negative 2 was the gradient, which is letter m. And in my equation, I have the letters y and x to show that I can use this now for any value of x to get any value of y. And that is my equation. So any question you do, there will be enough information in the question given for you to work out what is the gradient. I'll zoom this in so you can see what's on my sheet. Right. So what's the gradient and what is one of the points on the line?